Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am a homeschool mom to two kiddos age 11. I don't like the word kiddos. Why did I say kiddos? <laughs> to two kids age 11 and eight. And I also work from home. So on my channel here, you can find videos about planners, productivity, homeschooling, bullet journaling. One part of my passions is books and I, sorry, that's my rooster. I should add, we also have a hobby farm with goats and chickens. But one of the things I haven't done a video here on my channel about is books. I've really enjoyed watching some booktube channels and I will link them below. Chantal at Intentional Life, the Curly Reader. I also like Darling Desi for her book recommendations as well. So I'll link a few of them below that I like to watch. Kind of been inspired to do more themed book readings through that. I know they just had middle grade March. I'm kind of a middle grade all year kind of a person. <laughs> so a lot of the books that I read are middle grade. In fact, the ones that I'm going to talk about today are all middle grade. So I decided to do a themed read in April and I chose the theme of middle grade novels where the character travels, so kind of some fantasy, into books or because of books. I was initially inspired by this because I've been gathering this trilogy for my oldest. They have these beautiful hardcover where the paper cover is the same as the as the hardcover. It's just lovely. So I've been collecting the trilogy set for her and I've read Inkart and I thought you know, I really love this genre and so I wanted to find some other books that fit in this same category. So our main character, Maggie, lives with her book binder father and her mother is not around. And so through a chain of events, Maggie discovers characters that have come out of books, characters that have gone into books because of special powers that is in her family. And so she goes on a quest to try to help her father in this muddled up mess that they've ended up in because of characters traveling in and out of books. It's a fourth through seventh grade read, like a nine to 12 year old age. I would put this a little bit older than nine just because there is some violence. So the next one is The Book Wanderers. Our main character, Matilda Pages, called Tilly, lives with her grandparents and they own a bookshop. Tilly soon realizes that her favorite characters from her favorite books are actually showing up in person in her life. She discovers that she can wander into books, just like the characters can wander out. So as she hones in her new found skill of being able to travel and wander in and out of books, she discovers, discovers that there is a mystery to be solved. This is a third to seventh grade level for eight to 12. And while there is a little bit of like scary themes of, you know, of a character being frightening, I do think that I would put this on the lower end of that scale, closer to the eight, nine, third, fourth grade level rather than the 12. I don't know if Anna James is planning on writing more, but it's currently a trilogy. While I wouldn't mind reading the other two books in the trilogy, I'm perfectly content reading just this one. It is a great story and I would recommend this. I enjoyed this, it was a quick read. The next book that I read was the Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. This is one that I listened to on Audible. And our main characters are twins, Connor and Alec Bailey, whose father has recently passed away. Their mother had to sell, surprise, the bookshop that they owned together as a family. And on their 12th birthday, their grandmother gives them a book called The Land of Stories. And through a chain of events, the twins discover that they can actually travel into a fairy tale land through this book. 
It's basically the quest of them uncovering family mysteries and also figuring out if they can get home. It's an 8 to 12, 3rd to 7th grade book, and I would put it closer to like the 8 to 9 age. Although it is a pretty thick book, I do think it would be appropriate for younger ages. There are a few moments of violence, just as are in fairy tales, but nothing too drastic. This is actually a series of six books, and while I wouldn't mind listening to the other five books, I again am content with just reading this first one. It tied up very nicely nicely at the end. I highly recommend it. Some of the things I loved about this is all of the fairy tale kind of Easter eggs that are all hidden inside of the story. It is very plot driven. You just kind of want to keep going to find out what happens, what happens, what happens. Next is Sophie Choir and the Last Story Guard. This is the sequel to Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Oxier. I've read Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes. You don't need to read that book to be able to really enjoy this book. Our main character is Sophie Choir, who lives with her father in their family bookstore. Her mother is deceased. There is kind of this mystery surrounding her death. The town that she lives in is really under this negative cloud. So Peter Nimble and Sir Toad arrive and Sophie, along with them, go on a quest related to an alive book to kind of figure out what is going on with the book and what are all the mysteries surrounding it. And through that, she discovers a lot more, put it that way. This was a really great read. It is eight to 12, third to seventh grade. I would put this actually older than third grade. There, there's, it's, it, there are some, there's some violent parts to this. If you've read Peter Nimble and the Fantastic Eyes, that one is also, I think, for an older age group. And so I would put this closer to like the 10 age mark. I love this book. I, when I was done, Googled to find out, does he have more in this series? I really enjoyed this book. Last is The Forbidden Library by Django Wexler. Our main character, Alice, lives with her father. Her mother is not around. They actually don't own a family bookstore. She is sent to live with an uncle that she never knew, and her uncle owns a forbidden library. After being there for a while, Alice discovers that she is part of an elite group that is able to travel in to books and back out of them. There is a quest that ensues as she is, again, learning to hone these skills, but the mystery wasn't really resolved. This is actually a quadrilogy. This is one that I did look to see if I could get the remaining books because I am curious to see how this unfolds. This first one, while it is, you know, a pretty thick book, it's 375 pages, but it feels like it's just part of a much bigger story. This one I think is for an older age group. It is fifth to sixth grade, which is like a 10 to 12 year old. And I would put this closer to the 12 year old range. It can get pretty intense. There is some violence. So, and it, it's a little more sci-fi, which I realize traveling through books is like very sci-fi, <laughs> but this really felt more sci-fi and for an older age. To recap, Inkheart, in my mind, although it's not old enough, is a classic in this realm of books where characters travel into books, and so you can't go wrong reading and starting this trilogy. These two were my next favorite. I liked them both a lot for different reasons. I would probably put this one a little bit higher simply because I love Jonathan Oxier. I've also read Sweep. We have The Night Gardener to read this fall when it's like creepy time, but I really really enjoyed the Forbidden Library and the arc that is there. Last, I loved both of these very much and would recommend them again for younger readers. I think of the two, I think this had more, there was more depth to the characters and other plot lines that were kind of going on more than this one, but this is still a really great read, especially for your younger readers. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my first foray into booktube. I mean, I, I read all different kinds of books. I would love to hear what books you're reading. And if ever you want me to read and review certain kinds of genre of books, then please let me know. So until next time. Jonathan Oxier, 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 Oxier.